Only real content is gonna last. All that other nonsense is here today and gone tomorrow. So, starting out, uh, it's actually all about starting something and then being able to relinquish control to a certain degree. It, it's a very vague skill, but in the end, as a designer, it's actually more important to be able to be effectively leading a team of people of different skills and of different ways of working and to always be able to be in the middle of all that and to always be able to be clear what you want so that you can actually get people to go to that direction. Um, so, aside from all that, aside from knowing a little bit of all the actual practical skills, um, you also need to be an, to have an awareness of the market. And that means the obvious part, the money. How much does it take to make something? How much are you going to sell it for? How much are people going to be willing to pay for that thing that you just spent money to make? And then the other thing is also to be aware of what does other designers have done, um, whether it is within your current era or before, because that's the way you get a gauge of what your audience has seen before and what they won't be expecting. And it also adds a richness to your work, I think, you know, just to know who has come before you, who has paved the path for you. Um, so I think those are the main things. I mean, I've worked with designers who just come from such a diverse set of backgrounds. You know, you've got Samuel, who's from more of a graphics, very visual led kind of background and communicates on more abstract terms. But then other designers like Tatum Jones, like AF Landevorst in Antwerp, um, they tend to be from, they, they were all from more of a garment based um, kind of a more traditional fashion background where they all have an individual curated collection of deep knowledge that you can immediately apply to clothing. And they all work in their own way. They all have very unique businesses that have made differences and have influenced, you know, kids like me. So yeah, it's, it's a hard one. 